William Ewart Gladstone is arguably the greatest statesman of the 19th century and potentially one of the greatest statesmen this country has ever produced. He was a remarkable man with a remarkable political career. He was prime minister on four occasions, which is unprecedented for anybody in this country. In a sense, he's the classic person for the 19th century because his life spanned the entire century. He was born in the first decade in 1809, and he died in the last decade in 1898. He was prime minister and a politician at a key time when Britain's influence uh, internationally was at its greatest. So a remarkable man, a remarkable public servant who was Member of Parliament for 62 years. The connection between Gladstone and Armenia really goes back to Gladstone's extraordinary commitment to humanitarian issues. And right at the end of his life, um, when the Hamidian massacres took place between 1894 and 1896, uh, there was a huge outcry, uh, understandably, from the Armenian people. And they decided that this would be really important to try and enlist the support of Gladstone, because Gladstone had spoken out against Ottoman rule and atrocities in Bulgaria. He'd been an active uh, campaigner for home rule for Ireland. And so the Armenians sent a delegation to go and see Gladstone on his 85th birthday uh, in December 1894. And they came here to, to the library, to the castle, and they talked to Gladstone openly about these appalling incidents that were taking place at the hand of the Ottoman. And Gladstone was incredibly sympathetic, but he cited his ill health. He was not a well man at this time. He had just retired from public life and he was slightly concerned about getting involved in politics because there was the potential of a general election. So he went away, uh, they went away uh, with his support but without any public declaration. But the Armenian people are um, very persistent and they came back on Easter Sunday uh, in 1895 and they came to see Gladstone again here. And this time they came with some extraordinary gifts, a chalice, and they brought a 16th century illuminated uh, New Testament uh, to give to Gladstone, as well as some books for his new library. And so on the 6th of August, 1895, Gladstone walks from here, Harden, to Chester Town Hall. And he gives a speech in front of several thousand people. Um, and he describes the Ottoman Turks as perhaps the worst regime on the face of the earth. And it's an incredibly moving speech. And the meeting ends with a resolution being passed to support the Armenian people. And it's on that occasion that Gladstone famously said, um, and a phrase that resonates down the centuries, to serve Armenia is to serve civilization. But it wasn't the last time that Gladstone spoke about Armenia. His final speech was on the 24th of September in 1896. He goes to Liverpool. And this was an extraordinary occasion. And some historians say that this is perhaps his greatest speech. And he ends his speech with this extraordinary statement. Gladstone said that all human beings have the same claims upon our support. The ground on which we stand here is not British or European, but it's human. Nothing narrower than humanity could pretend for a moment justly to represent it. This was Gladstone's last speech in public. And I think it's an extraordinary connection, an extraordinary thing that the greatest prime minister of, of, of this country, that his final words were on Armenia. And the Armenians, again, they come back to Harden on the 6th of January, 1896. This is Catherine, uh, William Gladstone's wife. It's her 85th birthday. And they present a wonderful portrait of the Catholicus of, of the Armenian church. And they also uh, dedicate this wonderful window in, in, in the church of the martyrs of Armenia. And Gladstone and, and his wife, Catherine, were very moved by the generosity um, of this. So when Gladstone died on the 19th of May, 1898, um, his body is laid out uh, in the Temple of Peace in the castle. And what is astonishing and is hardly known is that his feet are covered with a red handkerchief, which was a gift of the Armenian people. And inside on his chest is put the New Testament and also put inside the, the coffin um, is a cross given by the Armenian people. And when the coffin is taken from Harden to lie in state in Westminster, in the heart of London, the coffin is not covered with the flag of this country, but it's covered with a silk pall in the colours of Armenia. And I think that is astonishing and makes this bond, this connection uh, between Gladstone 
here for us today, the Gladstone Library and the Armenian people, a very rich and a very precious one. And that's why for us at the Gladstone Library today, in 2019, we are very mindful of this powerful connection and are very keen through the work that we do with reconnecting Gladstonian values from the 19th century and focusing on the evolution of democracy, on the issues surrounding human rights and genocide and freedom of belief, powerful Gladstonian virtues and values and principles that we think are critical for life in the 21st century. And all of us today who are proud to be associated with the Gladstone Library are completely committed to ensuring that the liberal values with a small L that he espoused in the 19th century are kept alive and increasingly important in what is a much more illiberal world.